we'll get right to it. Mary, start with you. Um, take a minute or so, minute or two, and assess the performance of uh, the incumbent for the last two years. Okay. Well, um, I was particular. I was particular. I was, of course, I was watching closely, and I was particularly concerned about this fracking bill. Um, Martin County and Palm Beach County, because we do have part of Palm Beach County too, had both. Um, both had a, a county ban on fracking. So I was watching the fracking bill, and, and the bill um, regulated fracking, which means we were going to have it. And, and not only that, but it also preempted our local rule. So I had a, this year, that was my biggest concern was that. What I did was, it, she voted up on it, the House passed it through, and what I did was I worked really hard um, to get it stopped in the Senate. I got it over 100 postcards signed by people who were against it that live in the district, sent them to Senator Nagron, and I believe we had some impact on, on it getting squashed in the Senate. So that was my biggest issue this year. Okay, beyond, beyond the fracking issue, which I wanted us to get into a little bit. And we're only talking about the last two years? Um, um, because we, we ran against each other one at a time, yeah. and, and you know, again, I have always had concern about Representative Magar, Representative Magar's votes on issues with regard to the environment here because it's a really it's a really huge issue. Um, she voted yes on that horrible House Bill 999 that gave uh, the 30 year land leases in the Everglades agricultural area, and that's one of the reasons that I stepped into the race. So I would have liked to have seen Representative Magar be more environmentally friendly and, and vote what I believe is what the district would have wanted. Okay. Marilyn, I'm going to give you a chance and a subsequent question to address the, the, how you voted on the fracking issue, so don't, don't feel that you need to address that now. That's, that's part of my, my list of questions. Um, assess your own performance this, uh, this past two years. You know, I think that uh, I've really come into my own the past couple of years, making sure that um, I continue to peel back layers and layers of every issue and, and, and to learn about them. I mean, recently uh, we went on a tour of the entire water system so that um, you can see what has been done, uh, the progress that's been made, what will be coming online soon. Uh, not just hearing one side of any issue, but making sure that um, you, know, you talk to everyone in the community, um, if it's a, something with the water or health care, that you're, you're talking to both sides to, to understand that. I've been able to advance legislation within health care for small businesses um, here locally. There were a couple of bills that I championed. Um, one that stemmed from the boy that had brain damage after the home was tented. And we were able to get some legislation for stewardship and making sure that the training uh, was proper. Additionally, there was a, the two boys that were lost at sea and I worked with Senator Negron on legislation for that to bring down the uh, the registration fees when someone did put an EPO or locator on that boat. And I thought that was very important. Within, um, you know, I, I, I like to be attached to the legislation that I'm working on. So those two were very organic bills that came from the community. Uh, additionally, I usually represent things that work around small business or healthcare. I was able to pass all the bills that I was able to file last year, including our local bill, allowing Martin County to serve alcohol in smaller places. <laughs> That's what the county commission asked, and uh, we were able to get that through as well. Okay, well, when I went back mm -hmm. in preparation for our meeting today, um, went back through your record, and you didn't mention this, but I just wanted to put it on the table. The, uh, uh, I believe you and Senator Negron worked on a $1.5 million appropriation uh, to convert septic to sewer over North River Shores. Correct. And the All-American Ditch. Um, it, we additionally worked on Calkins Water Farm. So that was something that came up in, in looking at this whole situation. Um, 
that Calkins was kind of a trial, and they, they had flooded some old citrus grove to put water and store water. And um, when they came back and were offering the second plot of land, and I think eventually it could hold about 80,000 uh, acre feet, if, if and when, I should say, when it's all done. It's, it, it should be done within the next few months. I mean, that's one of the good projects that we can see. It's, I mean, uh, we wish it were tomorrow, but it, it should be before next rainy season. And it's, it's so very important. When they first came, I made sure that we went out there. Uh, there was no harm to the environment. They, they had drained it before and flooded it again to see how, how the um, wildlife would adjust. And um, the, the wildlife there with all of the water in it, it's amazing. I mean, alligators are lined up birds, so many different species. It was, really, it was really quite interesting, and that's why we made sure. Now, that wasn't necessarily, nor the, um, the sewer, sewer and septic wasn't uh, a bill, per se, but funding and, and fighting for that funding. Right. Right. Would you consider this, this uh, previous session your most successful from a legislative, just an individual legislative point of view? Um, I mean, I think that they've, they've all been very successful. I, I give it my all, always have. Um, but you just seem, you know, to, in the you seem to be more active this year in, in taking leadership on a few select bills. Well, you know, two years prior, having had the stroke and um, making sure that I got back and was, was doing physical therapy weekly while also attending session and committee weeks was quite challenging. Um, I was determined to get through that and to recover completely, but you know, this year I really I, I felt good. Uh, I was not in pain in certain parts that I had been before, so yes, I guess I would have been more engaged. Right. Good. Thank you.